can have a graphing calculator select a random real number from a normal distribution. If you click our math button, and then there we see the probability category. We scroll over, and the sixth command says rand norm for random normal number. Select that, and what you're going to enter is the mean of this normal distribution. That's your first entry. Let's say the mean is, for me is 50. And then you're going to enter the standard deviation, right, the average distance of values from the mean. Let's say it's 5. And if you, leave, if you stop there and press enter, you'll get one number. That's the default. They gave one number uh, within this range. But if I go back and recall that, right, by hitting second enter, and then I add, let's say, 10, this will give me 10 numbers, right, that are random with a mean in a normal distribution with a mean of 50 and a standard deviation of 5. Hit enter and then you see that you can see the numbers. Now notice all of them are pretty close to 50. Now, of course it could be any real number, right? This is a random process, but typically what you'll notice is that all the numbers are within um, three standard deviations of the mean. So it's the mean plus three times the standard deviation. In this case it's 50 plus or minus 15, right? That's three times five is 15, so it's within three standard deviations. It's pretty typical what you get when you're using this process. All right, hope that helped.